Okay, so here's the question. Recently, some residents wanted to know how to get to that bridge to nowhere, the bridge that crosses Highway 5. Yeah, that's the bridge. You know the one I'm talking about. So we decided that we would try to figure that out and help everybody who's unfamiliar with the, the bike and the walking path and how to get across Highway 5. We thought we'd show them how to do it. We were told that you can find the trail and the, the road leading up to the trail to the bridge to nowhere by using the city map. So we're going to look. Here's the map. Let's see if we can find the location of the bridge. Ooh, there we go. See it? See it? There it is. See, there's the little bike icon. We're walking along Great Plains Boulevard, and as you can see, the dinner theater is behind me in West 78th Street. So let's just keep on going south on Great Plains Boulevard. We're coming up to the car wash that's on the corner and I've been told that there is signage pointing out where the bike path and trail is. Oh, look, there it is. But it's not very big. Okay, so anyway, here's where that little sign is. There's Highway 5 right ahead of us, but if you turn left, you'll see some businesses down here, and you just start walking. As you can see, we're approaching the city's water treatment plant. There it is. And if we just go a little bit further, you'll see how you get onto the bridge. So here we are, there is a set of stairs that goes up to the bridge, and as you'll see, here's the water treatment plant, and if you'll notice, there's the bike trail that actually leads into downtown. I don't know if you've been this direction or not, but you now it's worth ch checking out. Okay, so here are the steps. Oh, and if you don't want to take the steps, if you want to ride your bike, or if you've got a stroller, or you're in a wheelchair or on your bike, go down to the end of the block, right there, and it will take you to the path that also leads you up to here. You ready? Here's the bridge that goes nowhere. That actually does. We're on the north side, Highway 5. Water treatment plant again. There it is. We're going to go across. It's actually kind of fun going across this because you get a view that you normally wouldn't. There. There. There's Eden Prairie. Way down the road. Go this way. Victoria is that direction. But we're going to keep on walking across the bridge. Here we go. See, there are people that know that this overpass is open to the public. A couple bikers. There they go. There they go down that path. I've reached the south side of the bridge. There are no steps on this side, but there is a path that takes you down to, well, let's save that for a surprise. Still walking down the path, but I'm turning around and looking. See, there's the bridge behind me, and if you look up, they even have a pretty um, light, street light to illuminate the path at night. 
So we're gonna keep on walking, walking, walking. And as you can see, we are approaching Lake Drive on this side. Now, if you just keep on following Lake Drive, straight ahead is the McDonald's and the intersection for Highway 101. And if you go this way to your right, you'll see Discovery United Methodist Church. And ooh, what else is down here? Let's walk a little bit more. This is the rear of the Northcott building. Northcott is the corporate owner of Houlihan's and the American. And if you look over to the right, there's Discovery United Methodist. And this is Lake Drive. So we're going to keep on walking. As I told you, Northcott American Headquarters. So we're continuing our walk along Lake Drive East and surprise, we end up at the Park Nicollet Clinic and also the American Legion Post 580 for Chanhassen. So if you're on the north side of the highway and don't want to drive over here, you can just cross the, the bridge and walk over to the American Legion or to the clinic. Hopefully you don't have to visit the clinic very often. So we've arrived, the American Legion, and at Park Nicollet Clinic. Now we're gonna keep on going because there's even more along Lake Drive East. We're still on Lake Drive East, and over to my right, you'll see there's a little mini shopping strip that includes the Marathon Gas Station, Gina Maria's and Driver's Ed, and a chiropractor. And if we keep on going ahead, you'll see that we're going to get to Lake Winds, and then another little shopping center over here. So here we are at the intersection of Lake Drive East and Great Plains Boulevard. There's St. Hubert's Church over there. There's Lake Winds, Natural Foods, Starbucks, and a bunch of other little shops and services. I think this is what they call Pond Promenade. Let's go over there. Well, I'm going to stop into Lake Winds right now and get a nice bottle of water because it's pretty warm. But there you have it. I've showed you how to cross that bridge to nowhere. Just needed a little ingenuity and a map. And talking to Ty Gerhard at the city. Okay, so my walk has finally ended. I've crossed the bridge to nowhere and um, actually I lied. I'm actually having some frozen custard. 